By the way, my friend Josh is here. And um, what do you call this? Josh Gumbo. He's from actually uh, California. He came here as a missionary. And uh, he came here to share the gospel of grace, the gospel of God, to come here and also heal the sick. So what we do, I like doing this first because I'm not going to be the one doing all the healing. You guys are. I'm just here to give you guys perspective on this. That one right there. Oh, hey, that's pretty obvious. Oh, you have it. Okay. Or you're in your leg or something. Who has pain right now? So we can measure it and we can show you that that pain can leave immediately. Oh, this is up to you, Paul. Because there's skeptics. Sometimes people accuse this and say this is fake. Are you comfortable with taking your shoes off or do you want to leave your shoes on? It's up to you. Okay, shoes on. Okay. I don't know her. Now, I don't know you, right? Now, I'm just going to hold her legs and I want you to see that the power of God, look how simple this is. I'm gonna push in her shoes to show you that it's not me pulling her shoe out, okay? Now instead, do we need to beg God? Now why is it when I hear people pray for the sick in hospitals or begging God? God, please heal my son. Please heal my mom of cancer. Is God a jerk? Do we have more compassion than God? No. Then why beg God? I wanna show you what Jesus Christ accomplished on the cross. Okay? By not simply, by not striving, not begging, but simply as that woman said in the first testimony, resting in the goodness of God. Amen? You guys ready? Okay. Not begging? Look. Did I do anything? I can't even grab it with my right hand. Look, look, look. Father, I thank you that her right leg is even growing now. More. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not even looking at her feet. Wow. Do you see that, folks? Do you have any pain in your shoulder? Okay, who has pain? Look, look, look. I'm going to push it in. Both. Folks, is this fake? I don't even know you. I'm a pretty good actor from maybe a CBN. I'm sorry. Yeah. This is real stuff. Okay, so the reason why it's not Pantai... Or that's why you have a dislocated hip. That's why we have problems with our lower back. Okay, is this pantai now? Thank you, Father. Look. Okay, look, I can even do it like this. Look, it's pantai. Oh, this is my wife. She's blocking. Okay, it's okay. Right? What do you feel? What do you feel? I, I, I felt something here when she was praying. Body from 1 to 10, measuring 10 being the worst. What do you feel now? Especially when you bend down right now. How much pain would you feel if you bend down? Six, About six, a six. Are you able to touch your feet right now with, without pain? Try touching your toes. Can you do that? What's that? Uh, <laughs> How do you want? <laughs> feels tired. It feels tired. Okay, but do you feel any pain right now? Okay, from about, about a level six. We do this measuring thing because we want to see before and after, right? Because we don't know what's going on. Now, this is very simple. Who is in me? Christ. Christ. Who is in you? Christ. This is very simple. The power of touch. In your hand. Okay? I'm not even going to say a word. You have a level 6 pain right now, right? Just watch. Okay? What are you feeling? Something that found me here. You feel heat, right? Are you a believer? Okay, see, but some people don't even know about the whole heat thing. Okay. You feel the heat, right? She's like, because I'm hot. <laughs> okay. Amen, right? Is there any pain? No pain, right? Zero? Is this hypnotism here? Hope not. Touch your toes. Touch your toes. Is there any pain? Praise God. You guys see how good this God is? Because who would want to go to the service just hearing a message without right. experiencing the goodness of God? Right. right? It's the goodness of God. Where we're not here to beg, all we need to do is receive. We just receive. Amen? Oh, you need to go. It's okay. That's <laughs> interesting. Okay, it's very simple. Okay, translator. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> it snaps. Something pops. It snaps. It pops. It snaps. Okay. Now we believe in the power of touch. So this is the same thing, right? God is a good God all the time. Okay, there's no strength. Okay? So right now you feel a pain level. What's your pain level when you do this? Um, seven. 
seven. That's, seven. that's pretty high. Okay? Now, you don't have to do anything. God is here. We don't have to say God is in this place. He's in you for goodness sake. Okay? Thank you, Lord. What's your name? R.C. R.C. Father, I thank you that R.C. is healed. Because by your stripes, he was healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Nerves, I command you to be healed and to be restored 100% by the mighty name of Jesus Christ. something going on inside. What about your pain? Do the worst thing that could try to cause it to be painful. After one month and a half, no one has been my end. Serious? Yeah. Serious? Okay. Let's go. Serious? Man. You guys got it. You have to pray for me. Okay. How about your back? And you remember, tell us the truth. Tell us the truth. Hola, na. Hola, na. Todo bien? Can I say it right? Todo bien. Break dance. Break dance. Okay. Start break dancing. Okay. Did you feel anything? Yes or no? If not, it's okay. Is it? Is that a good sign? Expelled all of it. <laughs> hey, we, oh, there you go. You know, there you we go. There someone with a UTI, and she had so much pain. I said, go pee pee now. She peed, and she had no more UTI. Josh, doesn't Oh, just not too long ago. I can't tell you guys exactly where I was ministering, but I was praying for some soldiers. And there was a Muslim. I didn't even know he was a Muslim. But he had his, uh, I believe it was his right eye, it was completely bloodshot red, and he could not really see. So I prayed over him, and just within seconds, folks, it got clear, and then he saw a person in a white robe. Hallelujah! And then he said, Isa, Isa. So I don't know what that means, but the interpreter said, Jesus. that's Jesus, but this guy's a Muslim. I said, oh, he's a Muslim. Tell him it's Jesus God. <laughs> okay? And next thing you know, he got better. His vision was clear. I went, you know, I went to the next person because we played, prayed for probably over a dozen people. There was a healing service at this particular hospital. And then he even testified of seeing Jesus Christ in his miracle. Wow. My question is, why is it always the Muslims that need to see Jesus? <laughs> they need visions. <laughs> Amen? So, you guys, I think one of the most powerful things, if you're ministering in, the, in this, what we call secular media, is that for them to have an encounter with a supernatural God that doesn't just forgive them of their sins, but He heals them and cares for them. Amen?